Are you sure like you, your balls have dropped like you're a man, yeah? <laughs> Yo, my people, it's your boy J Squared. You already know what it is. I'm here on Back to Back with Word on the Curb. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What happens when you mix blind dating with speed dating? One dater will have 30 minutes to secure a blind date. Don't like your date? Electrocute them. <coughs> Feeling the vibes? Then go for the reveal. Okay, cool, lovely stuff. Let's see who will secure a bay. Okay, that's interesting. And who will be leaving alone today? Yo, my people, it's your boy J Squared. I'm here on Back to Back with Word on the Curb. Obviously today, apparently, they're gonna try to find me love, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna even lie to you. I'm a very picky guy. I'm hoping to meet a funny girl, someone who can match my banter, someone who can also make me like, just keep me on my toes a little bit. I like a high maintenance girl as well, man. They make the challenge a bit hard for me. I don't like girls, they're just, they're just too easy, man. Nah, man, do you know what I'm saying? Out here, we love a challenge. Hi. Hey, you alright? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. How you doing? Calm still. Where are you from? I'm from Buckingham. You won't know, but do you know where Milton Keynes is? Yeah, I know where Milton Keynes is. Yeah, it's like 20 is. minutes from there. Tell me something interesting about yourself. Uh, I don't really know, really, to be fair. You don't know? Interesting about myself. How tall are you? I'm five foot four. What about you? I'm six one. Six one. Have you got back? It's like not too bad for my size, to be fair. I get like, if I jump up a little bit, it claps a bit and that. A bit? A little bit. Like for my posture, I haven't got like a fat ass or anything, but like, it's good enough for like, my size. So there's a jiggle. <laughs> yeah, it does <laughs> jiggle a little bit. <laughs> You're not speaking with enough conviction. I'm not sure I should believe you, you know. Do you yeah. think you can jump up right now and it would clap and it would make that noise? No, nah, it's definitely not going to happen right really? now in these not really doing it, is no. it? Okay. You're going to probably buzz me in a second ah. as well. <laughs> I'm going to give you a bit of a shot. What type of girls do you normally go for that are just going to like, after saying like hello, that, you don't even give me your name. I like girls that And you want me back. to like jump up and just Did you ask clap my name ass? though? You didn't ask my name. You didn't ask me either. I'm Ellie. What about yours? Jay. Jay. What do you think about selling toe picture feet and all of that? I would do it actually. I've actually been like looking to try and sell them. Like I've got nice feet and that. How much? How much would you think your feet are worth? Like a feet photo. I'd rather go a little bit lower so I can try and sell multiple photos. So like twenty pound probably. So you would sell your feet for cheap for twenty. pounds? Yeah. So I can sell it like people are like, oh yeah, that's a good price. So they keep coming back. For twenty pounds. Why? What are you that, willing to pay? That's ridiculous. I wouldn't pay for any feet pics personally. But so I why need are you your asking feet, then? Because it just kind of tells me about a bit about your morals. Like ah, okay. you don't really think you're high maintenance like that if you would sell your feet pics for twenty pounds. <laughs> Okay, what, you like high maintenance girls? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. How often do you get a pedicure? Every time I go to get my nails done, so and every two to three weeks. Alright, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> <laughs> good. You're a big, I'm not going to lie, you need to start, like, you got. You need to have better questions than that. I feel like you can do better. Nah, I just weren't kind of in it. When I heard you're from Milton Keynes as well, it was just like, yeah, man, dead it from the jump. Like, oh, OK, OK. There's, there's something a bit dodgy about M MK girls. Uh, Jay is a <laughs> basically. If she was to have got up yeah. and started clapping her cheeks, yeah. you have buzzed her off for being low maintenance. She said she's low maintenance for selling her VP. Nah, but yeah, I asked her to do it, but the confidence weren't even there, man. I asked her, is the back making sense? And she said, oh, for her size, all of that. It just means no, like, if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. No, he was okay, but I just found him, like, slightly rude. Like, I'm happy to answer, like, forward questions, but every time his responses were, like, rude back, I was like, I was like, why am I even answering your questions? Like, he should have just buzzed me from the beginning, 100%. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Keisha. What's yours? Jay. Where are you from, Keisha? Catford. What about you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Where are you from? <laughs> Don't say we've got postcode beef. Look, I'm not involved in no postcode beef. <laughs> oh, then there's no problem. Why have you got ex good experiences with girls from Catford? You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we're a bit extreme, aren't we? Yeah, we're toxic. man. A bit over the board. OK. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What's the craziest thing you've ever done in a relationship? I used to drive my ex all the way to Red Hill from Stratford for work. That's, that's like 40 miles. You think that's crazy? Yeah, 40 miles there and 40 miles back. Do you know what? Let me just ask you a question I really want to know. Have you got back? Sorry? Have you got back? Oh, definitely. I don't know if you can handle it, though. Oh, my God. 
Because you sound like... Um, get very excited now. <laughs> your, your voice sounds squeakier than mine. No, do you know what it is, yeah? I'm just a very chill guy. Okay. But trust me, I don't even think Are you sure, like, you, your balls have dropped like you're a man, yeah? <laughs> Yo, you're getting cheeky, but I like it. What do you I like do? What do you do, Jay? I do a lot of things still. Okay. But I'm a very, very busy guy. Surprise me. Don't say entrepreneur. Like, we've heard it all before. No, nah, I'm not an entrepreneur still. Okay, that's Obviously, good. Obviously, I'm in uni, currently doing my master's right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. We like ed educated men. I'm a YouTuber. Nice. I work part-time in a bank as well as a junior financial assistant. Wow, so where do you have the time? I'm, like... I'm a busy guy still. Like, do you think you deserve for me to treat you right? Yeah. What makes you that girl? Because Everyone I'm, currently, that I'm girl. currently training to be a perfect housewife. So you just want to chill at and stay at yard. Not chill. I want to raise our family. I want to take care of our home. Make sure that the food is cooked. Your feet are washed as you enter the house. Oh. Um. <laughs> 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 well, thanks, Joe. What's your name again? Keisha. Like <laughs> Becky, Keisha, you know. Uh, <laughs> Can't forget that. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> so, Keisha yep. and Soraya. How are you guys and how was, how was that date? The date was um, interesting. I don't think Jay's the man for me because he's not really a man. He couldn't really be a provider, take care of the household. It seems like he's still maybe like pre puberty. Do you know what, yeah, she was just getting too serious way too quick, like, we haven't even gone out on a date. Who even says I'm trying to take you out on a date? Like, after this, we could have gone my yard or something. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Talking about being a housewife, family, just dead that talk, man. Is that one of your goals to be a housewife? Is that what you want to do? Definitely. I want a king to take care of. That's why I'm here on my third date. And I'm going to keep searching. <laughs> Hi. How are you right? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? My name is Grace. What country are you from, Grace? Um, I'm half Ghanaian and half Jamaican. I kind of got the vibes still, I'm not going to lie. How? <laughs> I just knew you were either Ghanaian or Nigerian. With How? That, with that name Grace, you're either Nigerian or you're Ghanaian. True. What's your name? Jay. Jay? Yeah. Is that your full name? Well, that's what you're going to call me, darling. Who? Are you Nigerian? Yeah. I thought so. Where do you think I'm from in Nigeria? I don't actually know the places, but what type of Nigerian are you like? Yoruba, Igbo? Yoruba still. Grace? Yes. Would you say you're a freak? It depends. <laughs> On? The occasion and the situation. So what situation would allow you to be a freak? So if I'm committed to somebody, then uh... I'll give my all. <laughs> Commitment, ah. why am I hearing all of these words? This is just, come Ouch. on, Grace. Why what, you... But how old are you, sorry? That's not important. <laughs> but what, how old can how you be? How old are you? I'm 21. And you're speaking about commitment already? Yeah, I've been through a lot in my lifetime, you know. How old are you? Older than me? Yeah, definitely. And you don't want commitment, me. what do you want? I don't need commitment right now. I'm just on vibes and enjoying life, and the vibe is still vibes. <laughs> and you're not finished vibing? Nah. I'm not still. So when are you trying to settle down then? I mean, probably like late 20s, 30s, but Grace, you kind of have to go still. The cop date is over. Ah! <laughs> you ain't got to keep shocking me. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to get the gist, <laughs> innit? Oh, God. <laughs> so that date was terrible. I feel like he's not looking for love. I feel like he needs to go to the red light district and pick someone up because commitment should not be a fair word for a grown man. So some people need to grow up, I feel like. So you're not looking for commitment. So what is it that you're looking like, for? Do you know what? Yeah, I just don't like when that's what you hit first with. Commitment, it just sounds a bit too serious too quick. These girls are not speaking with the conviction I need, man. I need myself a top dog in the game, man. You get what I'm saying? Like, If I was 17, I mean, what, what happens when you meet someone? You want to get into something. Otherwise, you need to go on Tinder. So he should have went on Tinder instead of coming to look for love. So would you say you're scared of commitment? Nah, I'm not. You sure? <laughs> I'm not scared of it. I just don't feel like I'm ready for it, if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to keep looking for serious men because he's unserious. Like, how can you buzz me because of commitment? That shouldn't be a... Uh, terrifying word. It should be encouraging him. I'm sure he's older than me. So, yeah. I barely know anything about you. You're speaking about commitment. It's just dead, man. I asked you, are you a freak? It's simple, yes or no. Like, it's not that deep. What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? <laughs> that's, that's a mad question, you know. I don't think I wanted this kind of information. <laughs> I maintain my standards and I'll continue to go for commitment, period.
Yo. Yo. <laughs> You're right. Hi, yeah, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> What's Hi. your name? Um, my friends call me Noodles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, my nickname is Jerk Noodle. <laughs> but yeah. Jerk's kind of rude, but it's because I'm half Jamaican, half Thai. So oh, I'm a Jerk Noodle. Oh, that's a bit. That's a bit of a dead nickname. <laughs> well, I quite like it, thank why, you very much. Why don't you change it? Because I think it's great. What do you think about selling feet pics? Um, well, I don't think anyone's really going to want to buy pictures of my feet, oh. personally. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet are oh. patted, man. Like. No, my feet are just... <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I won't really get a vibe from you, if I'm being honest. And... <laughs> Noodles, jerk noodles, like you sound like a menu on a restaurant. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm totally yeah, edible. Yeah. <laughs> nah, not, <laughs> not for me. Still. <laughs> he asked me two questions. I must smell weird or something because I don't know how he got a bad vibe just from that. Um, he weren't feeling the vibe off the fact that my name is Jerk Noodles, half Thai, half Jamaican. Most people are like, woo, you're so exotic. He's like, uh, you're confusing. <laughs> Do you know what, yeah, I didn't really care about the feet pics. I just wanted to see what kind of answer she's going to give me, like... Don't get me wrong, like, my feet are nice, but just, like, why are people buying pictures of feet? And, like, why was that topic? The convo was just dead. She didn't sound confident. I just weren't really feeling it, that there was zero vibes there. So, man, she had to go. I think he's got a thing for feet. He likes toes. He likes to lick on toes. So, girls, if you like toe lickers, shout out my guy. Hi, you all right? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. This date feels a bit different. I like your voice. Right, I'm glad, because I've heard you've had some interesting dates. Yeah, you could say that. What's your name? Bav. Bav, that's unique. What's your name? Jay. What? What's that short for? JJ. <laughs> you know what they say about Jays? What? They say that they're for the streets. <laughs> nah, not this one. Right, this okay. One. What country are you from? I was born in London mm -hmm. and um, I'm Indian, but my parents were both born in Africa. Okay. Where are you from? Nigeria. Used to live in Ireland. Oh, but where's your accent? Non-existent still. <laughs> How I'll long be, were you there? I'll be so real. Pretty much my whole life, like 15 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you from London? Yeah. Where I'm in London? London? South East. Whereabouts? Don't really want to disclose that. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I just want to ask you a question in there. Have you got back? Listen, we're professionals out here, like... It's not, like, it's not something... What kind of question? You should be ashamed to claim if you've got it, like... Yeah, but I can say anything that I want. I could be like, yeah, it's fat, and you, you fat. won't even know. Is that... I, oh. No, I said I could say, yeah, it's fat, and you, you wouldn't know. Well, so why, that's why a stupid are you gonna question. Lie, I could it's... ask you, are you sexy? Yeah. And you could just be like, yeah, and I'm... I'm but I actually, am I just supposed I to take your word for it? Am. Good. Right, I, I think I've got a little back, yeah. Little or you've got back? It's not, like, bussing, but it's it's decent. It does the job. It's not flat. Ah, uh, cool. Um, what do you do? I dabble in a few things. I work for an event company. I work for a charity. I dance. OK, that's interesting. What do you do? I do a lot of things as well. I'm still in education. I'm a YouTuber, act as well, I make music on the side, I host events. What sort of events? Parties, just to show up. Oh, right. Oh, sexy. wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, for real. I just get paid to party. If Beautiful. I'm being Love that. That's what my events job is like. Oh, We're just paid to, to vibes. Interesting. I haven't seen anyone today, so I might as well just see what you look like, innit? Why not? You want to see each other, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Decent. <laughs> You're violent. <laughs> I'm decent. <laughs> I'm not really interested in any small talk, if I'm being honest. Okay. Is this what you envisioned each other looking No. <laughs> what were you expecting? Um, I don't know, but yeah. What were you expecting? I wasn't really sure, you know, but you you suit your voice. Alright, are you guys ready? Make yeah. Decision, yeah? yeah. Five. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm going to be so raw, like, I'm just not interested. I'm not feeling it. That's I'm fine. not getting a vibe, like. That's fine. Man, 
I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm a bit disappointed still. Like, I didn't get no vibe, no energy, no confidence. I just don't know where it was, man, but those girls just weren't it for me anyways. He greeted me, that was all well and good. I heard nonsense from the other girls as soon as they started, so mine was all right. He asked me questions, he had convo, it was all right. Then we get to the end, yeah, I just... His comments were a little bit cheeky, like a bit rude. Guys, man, I expected you to do me way better than this. Wow, <laughs> you're violating. Nah, I'm just saying, wow. nah, I'm not violating. Like, you are though. I, I just ain't got no vibe off no one, like five girls, really? Like. Yeah, you should hear what they got to say about nah, you. Lucky. If I'm being honest, I generally do not care. That's calm. I didn't think you were that bad, but. Nah. Right. Aside from that, I thought he was cool. There just wasn't much of a vibe between us, I think. He was a decent guy, but yeah, there just wasn't a vibe. So, where do you think you're going to take your dating life from here? What's your plan? I mean, I'm going to continue with the vibes. Do you get what I'm trying to say? The vibes are still doing me well right now, so why cheat on it? So, if your future husband is watching this right now, what's the message you want to send to them? Get creative with the conversation. Be respectful. No kind of foolish questions. Do you have batty? Like, none of that. Obviously, don't judge a book by its cover. These dates aren't really how it's going to go if I'm interested in you. You get what I'm trying to say? So, there is a bit of hope. I'm a good guy and I know how to take care of a lady as well. So, yeah, man. Just wait for me, my time is coming still. Do you clean people's shit? Um, yeah.